Well, welcome to uh, the first of six videos exploring project management. So in the previous series, we looked at what is a project. Here, we're going to get into what is uh, project management. And here are the lesson objectives. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the challenges associated with project management, the four types of project creep. Uh, characteristics associated with these different types of projects and some models and then look at uh, requirements breakdown structure. So when you start looking at the, uh, the fundamentals of a project management it's really about at, uh, providing the answer to these six questions. All right. So what is the business situation that is being addressed by this project? What do you need to do? What will you do? How will you do it? How will you know you did it? And how well did you do? So th these are the kind of six questions that define success in project management, allow you to go and explore uh, um, uh, a particular project uh, and make sure that you've got the right plan being put into place. Here's the definition of project management. So it's this organized typically more than one person involved, common sense approach that utilizes appropriate client involvement and the amount of client involvement is going to change based on what model or approach you're using in order to deliver client requirements that meet expected incremental business value. Okay, and that business value uh, as you're planning the project uh, should be positive. Alright, uh, the cartoon, <clears throat> and th this is a, a popular cartoon, uh, for those of us in project management, but uh, this is the the um, challenges, if you will, uh, associated with project management. So it's about communications. It's, it's about understanding um, what uh, is going to come out of a, a particular project, and you can see the the challenges uh, associated with each of these, and it's a little bit humorous. But it is worthy to, to, to look at it for a second and, and see that there are different perspectives and that resolving those different perspectives is sometimes challenging. All right, uh, speaking of those challenges, here's this idea of flexibility and adaptivity. As you learn more about the project, how flexible and adaptable are you in that approach? A deep understanding of the business and its systems so that <clears throat> the previous situation with the swing does not occur. And then the ability to lead, to take charge of the project and its management and make sure that it's moving forward and, and that each day the things you're doing make sense. All right, this brings us to managing the creeps. And this is kind of one of those uh, uh, basic ideas associated with project management that uh, uh, folks get very concerned about. Uh, the idea here is there are ways to change the scope of a project, what, what the project was uh, uh, going to address. And they're broken down, the book breaks them down into four of these types of creeps. So one creep is going to be scope creep, and this is going to be any change in the project that was not in the original plan. Okay, So scope creep is one of these things referring to any of those changes in the project that were just not previously planned for. Hope creep is that when a project team member falls behind schedule but reports that he or she was on schedule, he or she is hoping to get back on schedule by the next report date. Okay? So hope creep is is where, you know, how do you make a big pile? Well you do it one day at a time. And how do you fall behind? You you, you do it one day at a time. And so hope creep is is capturing these project team members that are hoping to catch back up. Uh, effort creep is going to be the result of a team member working but not making any progress proportionate to the work expended. So there are going to be some estimates, and we'll do this in later chapters, where we talk about how do you um, estimate uh, task duration. And the uh, sometimes those things don't w work out as planned, and uh, tasks take much longer. So this idea of effort creep is where it's taking much more effort than was planned in the original uh, uh, project plan. And then finally, um, feature creep, and this is kind of related to scope creep, but the idea here is team members arbitrarily add features and functions to the deliverable that they think the, ch the client would like to have. 
and I'm sure they probably would like to have, but it does make projects late. So uh, I've talked through uh, scope creep, hope creep, effort creep, and feature creep. Um, and uh, during uh, this uh, short video, I've also talked about the definition of uh, project management and uh, some of the challenges associated with project management. And then finally, six questions, six key questions that you have to ask to uh, define a uh, project uh, and project management. All right, well, guys this is, and gals, this is the end of the first of six videos looking at what is project management. Uh, keep on studying, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.